What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe and this is Shooting Gallery. Today we're going over so far the top five things I think are really cool that's coming out of SHOT Show 2024. I'm trying to do a little bit different content this week because I'm not at SHOT Show but I want to bring you guys stuff that I found. So let's get into the first thing that I thought super cool. So right off the bat, I've been scrolling Instagram, scrolling the firearms blog, scrolling YouTube, seeing some of my buddies that are out there, getting hands-on experience with some of the first uh, new stuff getting released. Today, as of recording, it is Tuesday, uh, so it's really the first day everyone's on the floor. One thing I saw and I want to get my hands on, uh, it's from Radiant Weapon Systems. I'm going to throw some photos up as I'm talking. But the Ra Radiant Weapon Systems, they make obviously the afterburner, the charging handles. They make a lot of accessories for firearms. And Radiant Weapon Systems is coming out with a boatload of stuff for the SIG P365. They have a now adding the afterburner plus the ramjet to their product line. So you're going to get a little bit longer barrel with an integrated... Uh, muzzle brake or uh, compensator uh, i might add uh they come out with a magwell and back strap for the p365 p365 x macro uh so you're going to get a little bit better stip uh texturing on the back you're getting a integrated magwell this is absolutely dope now you can trick out a 365 i have a 365 x which means I have the 365 slide on a 365 XL grip to make the X configuration, but I also have a macro grip module, so I could actually trick out the 365 build even more by getting stuff from Radiant. I am super uh, excited about this. This is something I'm like, wow, I really like. It's not like, I'm surprised they haven't made it, and now I'm glad they do. So the first one I think is cool is from Radiant Weapon Systems, their Ramjet and afterburner barrel combo and their backstrap magwell next up on stuff that's gotten released in shot show 2024 i don't know if this is 2024 shot show but sct manufacturing you guys know i've been doing the kit cap build uh, i got an update on that i got a lot of stuff especially with the new trigger putting in and the frame that's off at liberty bell firearms at the moment it's going to be super dope I really love the grip texture and the feel of the SCT frame. They are coming out with a 43X, 48 compatible frame. So you get all of the audit added bonuses of the double undercut uh, trigger, the texturing or stippling they have on their frames, their back strap ribbed, a little bit uh, more defined beaver tail in a 43X, 48 compatible. Now you could buy this frame and you could even go over to my buddies over at JST Supply and get a Patmos Arms uh, 43X uh, 48 slide and get a super dope combo or even add a Gideon Optics on there as well. And that would be an amazing build. I think that's a build I'm going to have to do. So definitely check out SCT Manufacturing. Obviously, as I'm talking, you're going to see the picture of it. They're going to be available on AIM Surplus and Brownells Inc., Looks like we're going to be getting another pistol build. I'm so pumped. So the SCT manufacturing, what are they calling it? The SCT SC. So subcompact, I'm guessing that's what we're calling it. Uh, so yeah, check them out. All right, guys. So this gun is probably one of the coolest things i'm surprised they haven't done it yet but this is coming from henry rifles henry just came out with their model h023 lever action model which this is a lever action rifle that is able to accept uh ar-15 magazines or p mags uh they're getting rid of the tubular magazines that would have typical trouble with non-flat nose bullets or lever action specific bullets like a 30 30 45 70 45 long colt and they're giving you a lever action that accepts p mags right now they're only coming with 223 556 and 300 blackout but i think this concept is going to be uh breakaway for a 65 grindle uh, a um, 6.8 SPC doing that but it gives a lot of traditional cartridges that you can't get in a lever action typically because of the tubular uh, tubular magazine and it gives you a P mag accessible they already have the home setter that takes Glock mags if you get the right model now they're having uh, a 223 556 and a 300 blackout variety they're coming threaded for suppression that is cool that's coming from Henry repeating arms so check those out now this particular firearm I am actually interested in. I am not a big wheel gun guy. If you haven't guessed from the channel, we don't do a lot of wheel gun content here. But this 
new SDR coming from Diamondback Firearms. They're actually local here, not local, but they're in Florida. Um, they are coming out with what they're calling the self-defense pistol or the SDR. It's in 357 38 special. It's kind of based off the J-frame design. Some of the pictures you're going to see, again, I'm grabbing from their Instagram so you can get a look at this. Uh, it's going to be in 357 38 You get a short barrel, fiber optic sights. It's shipping with two extra grips and it has a easily accessible uh, and disassembly for the crane and cylinder where you can get the cylinder and the crane out of the firearm for cleaning and maintenance by the push of a button you don't have to take apart your side plate to release that and I think that's actually pretty cool I've seen a couple videos on it so far I really think that's interesting and Diamondback is usually coming out of a price point that's attainable for a lot of people and they do make great quality stuff I've worked with some of their AR-15s in the past and they also have a 22 revolver that I think is really cool it kind of works off of a single action, but it's also a double action design. And the fact that Diamondback is getting into this, I think it's coming in like 27 ounces too. So it's going to be kind of light. I'm guessing if you shoot full power 357, it's going to hurt a bit. But this is a gun I am really, I'm, I'm digging. And if they can come in at a price point, that is cool. So this is the Diamondback SDR. It's the self-defense revolver. Check it out. So one of the last things that I've seen so far from just today that I thought is really cool and it's not like, oh my God, it's it's nothing new, but it's just a new weapons platform from a company that I actually think is really innovative is Flux Defense. They are adding a new weapon to their Raider platform. They're coming up with the 365. So what it seems like, I haven't seen that many pictures other than like one or two videos from TFB. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. You get a six inch barrel chassis for the 365 and the Raider chassis comes with a stock and it comes with a braced option so you won't have to SBR your fire control unit. Uh, but if you just remember, if you get the stock version, you will have to SBR that because you're adding a stock into a PW type. It comes, you can get it in a holster, so you can actually carry it. Appendix, I say from a couple videos, it's pretty cool. Uh, I will say from their website, it does look like they're going to be coming in probably at the same price point because the Glock and the 320 platform is around 450. It's kind of an expensive chassis, but it's still really cool. Uh, so guys, that's all I have for you today. Please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe. I'm trying to pump out videos every single day for you to beat an algorithm. So as always, stay safe, stay shooting. I'll see you soon. Peace.